द एलिक्सर ऑफ लाइफ बाई सी वी रामन वन ऑफ द मोस्ट रिमार्केबल फैक्ट्स अबाउट वाटर इज इट्स पावर टू कैरी सिल्ट और फाइनली डिवाइडेड सॉइल इन सस्पेंशन दिस इज द ऑरिजिन ऑफ द कैरेक्टरिस्टिक कलर ऑफ द वाटर इन रेन फेड टैंक्स दिस कलर वेरीज विद द नेचर ऑफ द अर्थ इन द कैचमेंट एरिया एंड इज मोस्ट विविड इमीडिएटली आफ्टर अ फ्रेश इन फ्लो फॉलोइंग रेन स्विफ्टली फ्लोइंग वाटर कैन कैरी फेयरली लार्ज एंड हैवी पार्टिकल्स The finest particles however remain floating within the liquid in spite of their greater density and are of course extremely small but their number is also great The flow of water has undoubtedly played a great part and a beneficent one in the geological processes by which the soil on the earth's surface has been formed from the rocks of its crust the same agency however under appropriate conditions can also play a destructive part and wash away the soil which is the foundation of all agriculture and if allowed to proceed unchecked can have the most disastrous effects on the life of the country the problem of soil erosion is one of the serious import in various countries and especially in many parts of india the conditions under which it occurs and the measures by which it can be checked deserve the closest study soil erosion occurs in successive steps the earliest of which may easily pass unnoticed in later stages the cutting up and washing away of the earth is only too painfully apparent in the formation of deep gullies and ravines which make all agriculture impossible sudden bursts of excessively heavy rain resulting in a large runoff of surplus water are the principal factors in causing soil erosion contributory causes are the slope of the land removal of the natural protective coat of vegetation the existence of ruts along which the water can flow with rapidly gathering momentum and the absence of any checks to such flow incredibly large quantities of precious soil can be washed away if such condition exist as is unhappily too often the case the menace which soil erosion presents to the continuance of successful agriculture is an alarming one in many parts of india calling urgently for attention and preventive action the terracing of the land the construction of bunds to check the flow of water the practice of contour cultivation and the planting of appropriate types of vegetation are amongst the measures that have been suggested it is obvious that the aim should be to check the flow of water at the earliest possible stage before it has acquired any appreciable momentum and correspondingly large destructive power water is the basis of all life every animal and every plant contains a substantial proportion of free or combined water in its body and no kind of physiological activity is possible in which the fluid does not play an essential part water is of course necessary for animal life while moisture in the soil is equally imperative for the life and growth of plants and trees the preservation and utilization of water is thus fundamental for human welfare apart from artesian water the ultimate source in all cases is rain or snowfall much of indian agriculture depends on seasonal rainfall and is therefore very sensitive to any failure or irregularity of the same 
the problems of soil erosion and of inadequate or irregular rainfall are closely connected with each other. It is clear that the adoption of techniques preventing soil erosion would also help to conserve and keep the water where it is wanted, in other words, on and in the soil, and such techniques therefore serve a double purpose. It is evident, however, that in a country having only a seasonal rainfall, an immense quantity of rainwater must necessarily run off the ground. The collection and utilization of this water is, therefore, of vital importance. Much of it flows down into the streams and rivers and ultimately finds its way to the sea. Incredibly large quantities of the precious fluid are thus lost to the country. The harnessing of our rivers, the waters of which now mostly run to waste, is a great national problem which must be considered and dealt with on national lines. Vast areas of lands which at present are mere scrub jungle could be turned into fertile and prosperous country by courageous and well-planned action. Closely connected with the conservation of water supplies is the problem of afforestation. The systematic planting of suitable trees in every possible or even in impossible areas and the development of what one can call civilized forests as distinguished from wild and untamed jungles is one of the most urgent needs of India. Such plantation would directly and indirectly prove a source of untold wealth to the country. They would check soil erosion and conserve the rainfall of the country from flowing away to waste. The measures necessary to control the movement of water and conserve the supplies of it can also serve subsidiary purposes of values to the life of the countryside. By far, the cheapest form of internal transport in a country is by boats and barges through canals and rivers. We hear much about programs of rail and road construction, but far too little about the development of internal waterways in India. Then again, the harvesting of water supplies usually also makes possible the development of hydroelectric power. The availability of electric power would make a tremendous difference to the life of the countryside and enable the rural economy to be improved in various directions. In particular, it would enable underground water to be tapped to a greater extent than at present and thus help to overcome the difficulties arising from irregularity or inadequacy of other sources of supply. In one sense, water is the commonest of liquids. In another sense, it is the most uncommon of liquids with amazing properties which are responsible for its unique power of maintaining animal and plant life. The investigation of the nature and properties of water is, therefore, of the highest scientific interest and is far from an exhausted field of research. For more information on the same, please visit our website, themindpalace.in. The link is provided in the description below. Mind Palace!